Here's a uh, 2005 uh, glow plug controller for uh, my Duramax, and apparently this is this is not good anymore because it doesn't light up the uh, glow plugs. So I ordered a new one, and they're not cheap. And pretty much all they do is they, they turn on the uh, the glow plugs for uh, two or three uh, seconds before you start up the truck when it's cold. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a little autopsy on, on it. I already started drilling hole. I'm gonna take the Dremel and cut it open. Just I just want to see if there's any uh, obvious signs of failure. But as it's mostly the case with all these uh, sealed uh, German part, well, it's all gooped up. It's probably all gooped up in there. Uh, kind of a waterproof thing but and when they break you just don't know what happened because they just break all of a sudden and with no signs of damage uh, this is this box which is well, well over a hundred uh, 150 amp something along those lines the fuse is a uh, 175 amp and what the Germans do they put all these little parts and right on the same board with no with no channels to divide the, the eyeball side and the lower side so one on one day just it just craps out on you. So we're gonna look at it and see what we can find. Okay, so that doesn't smell too good. So let's open this little guy up, see what's in there. Okay, so there's a, a lot of stuff in there. Uh, of course there's an IC because uh, just because it wants to talk to the uh, ECM and yeah so this this module it's still the uh, it's still sending signal to uh, the other module and uh, but it's not turning on the glow plug so the um, eye side of this box which turns the uh, the power feed from this connector here to all the individual in uh, glow plugs well it's probably done but look how complicated all this thing is so it could be it could be it's not it's the uh, the eye side or it could be the the low the uh, the low side low voltage stuff which turns on the transistor this is all uh, solid states and yeah all you have to do is turn on glow plug for three seconds so yeah they put all this stuff in i guess that's all part of the regulation that uh, pretty much we pay for because this is not a cheap module, it's $270 the dealer. Uh, I got it online for 140 so I'm waiting on it. By the time he gets here, it would probably be, uh, be uh, 170 bucks. Just for something that you use two and a half seconds on cold startup, the first startup of the day, and, that's, and only in the winter. And look at all this chatter in there. So. I'll try to disassemble it further. Uh, I, don't, I don't have uh, much hope because it's all it's all sealed and gooey to keep it from the humidity away. Uh, yeah, but these guys they're probably uh, high power side is probably grounded on that piece of metal there, or maybe these are uh, 
these are the guys well, we'll see <laughs> looks like they just they just went w whatever we're just some hairy old cable and just do some patching yeah that's, that's not even a PCB huh that's uh similar to a chip on film so it's that it's a thin film and then the uh, the MOSFET they probably uh, protrude through and to the metal surface yeah that's not how it designed this no I don't like that kind Gooey. Yeah. So either those guys are dead or whatever is driving them is dead as well. But yeah. It's a big heat sink. I don't know if it's uh, if it's grounded to those I guess so but I'm gonna test the wiring on the truck and uh, see what I can find but I'm pretty sure this is bad because uh, I did read some I did read something about uh, the dot there's kind of a plug on the, on the end of it I removed it earlier but it has a green dot and they say the green dot one had issues and could go out anytime. Oh yeah, I think I found a problem. You see all those little wires? Well, the one there's a few of them that comes from the jack over there, which is the main battery feed. And one of them, I just I looked at it. It looked funny, so it's uh it's completely torn off. Each of them is like two little uh, aluminium uh, wire, and uh, yeah, one of them is broken right there. But it's not gonna focus. It's, uh, I'll try to uh, to make to take a picture and post it with a video. All right, so that's what I did. I found out that there wasn't only two of the wire coming from the uh, the on the 175 amp fuse from the, the large power connector it wasn't only two but all of them all of them were broken and that's what this module was saying uh, when we read the code it was saying uh, main supply so that might be so I thought there might be uh, one way to fix it so there's a lot of goop it's all kind of a, a silicone gel we have to remove all of that and there's two power plane one here and one over here and they are linked with a little one and usually they are uh, I think it was six or eight of them coming from the jack going there and distributing uh, the 12 volt to all the MOSFETs here and there so I took a uh, I think it was a 20 gauge doubled it up gooped it up full of solder I did that twice to both of them I removed the pads there are some square, little square pads there, so I overheat those and I took them off the board, and then I had a good surface to weld onto. So that's what I did. I put it there, all the way across, and welded it, soldered here on the connector there. So I had to clean up the uh, epoxy here as well to have a good contact. And these are all. It's a hole really hard to weld because there's a lot of thermal mass so you have to get a really good iron to actually heat up this whole plate here which is a big aluminium plate that makes up the uh, the frame of this thing it's the ground plane it's the uh, heat sink as well so you uh, you need a really good iron to do that but uh, anyways put it all the way up to there and then I'm gonna I'm gonna plug it into the truck see if it starts it hasn't started since uh, last night so it's really cold and with this we'll see uh, we'll, leave. we'll see if it fixed the problem or how would you order another one but uh, yeah 
maybe this fixes it. And if it works, I'm gonna seal it, uh, seal it back up, put it on a truck, put the new one in a box, wait for this one to go again, and then use the other one. These are fairly expensive, and yeah, if that's that's what it was saying, so there's a good, there's a good chance uh, this fixed my problem. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we'll see if it works. It was kind of a geeky like this, huh? And see all the uh, all the chips and all, but yeah, if she works, we're gonna seal it up. But yeah, see what is what she does. So, uh, truck hasn't been uh, run since 10 p.m. last night, so she should not start without this. Or she'll have a really huge issues. Bright orange T-shirt. Bright orange T-shirt. Yeah. So minus eight. Yeah, minus eight. That's pretty much the limit. She started, but yeah, it wasn't pretty. And only in a few on a few cylinders. Yeah, but that's because it's minus eight, and that's pretty much with the coal. It's pretty much the limit at which it starts. So I'm not gonna know until uh, it's much colder. But I was in a smooth start up, so I don't think it's fixed. I really don't think so. I'm gonna have to. Uh, test with a voltmeter but I don't think so. It's kind of a rough, really rough startup. <laughs> oh well, I got another one ordered so we'll see. I'll talk to you later guys.